In this video, we are going to help this noob reach second C using the spike foot. Where the actor slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, gamer. Nom is back. So, are you ready to grind this legendary fruit? Let's start. So, to start this legendary journey, we already have our first skill, the rush. This is a good skill because it damages multiple enemies. So we're going to start with the bandits. Again, luring them will be good. Use your Z skill. I think you need to use it like three or four times to finish a quest. Okay, so the goal here is to reach level 10. And as you can see, all the stats will go with the blocks. Fruits. Okay, there you go. Again, at level 10, we are good to go. Off to our next island. And that island is the Fountain City. Wait a minute. Yes, yes. This is the final island in this sea. So what you're going to do is save and lure this galley pirate here in a wall, okay? And then, there's no damage as you can see. Now it's time to use your Z skill, okay? The rush. So guys, I'll be honest, this may take some time, but this is very rewarding. Check that out. Check the level, guys. I think you will reach like level 24 here with mastery 30. So I hope that you learned something new. So make sure, like, and subscribe. And also, you can show your support by using Starcore Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. So back to the video, guys. Now we've unlocked our second skill, the Spiky Ball. So this is how it looks like. Guys, don't use it here, but if you want, you can go for it. Okay, so the goal here is to reach level 55. As I suggest, use the X skill for the final blow, okay? After reaching 55, stat check, 30 mil defense, 105 block fruits. Next island is the Pirate Village. So here, we're gonna start with Baggy, yes, Bobby, the mini boss in this island. So let's check it out. Guys, I will introduce you something, the SDS strategy, the skill dodge strategy. So first, you're gonna use your skills. After that, you're gonna dodge. Wait, let's use a skill first. Dodge and use your skills, okay? So that's it. Keep doing this until you reach level 75. Don't forget, server hop is the key. Okay, again, at level 75, stat check, 50 million defense, blocks fruit, 125. Next island is the desert. So here, we're gonna skip the desert, uh, what do you call this, desert bandits. We're gonna go straight with the desert officers. So here they are. Guys, try luring without hitting them, okay? Just go near them. Why not hit them, gamer? Now, why not use a slingshot, guys? Because this will be beneficial. If you don't hit them, they won't use their long-range attacks, okay? So... Go and try this one. This strategy will really help you in the third scene. Okay? Okay, so guys, again, SDS strategy. The goal here is to reach level 90. Okay, at level 90, again, stat check. 60 million defense, blocks fruits 150. Next island is the Frozen Village. So here, we're gonna do some shopping. You need to buy the Sky Jump, the Enhancement, and the Flash Step. To grinding Snow Bandits, you need to defeat 7. Use your X skill. To lure 3, use your punch to lure 2, and use your skills, okay? This is kinda easy, but you need to be patient. The goal here is to reach level 105, and after that, next up, the boss in this island, the Yeti. So again, SDS strategy, skill dodge skill, there you go. Use your skills. Again, guys, patience is the key here. The goal is to reach level 130. Okay. After that, we are moving to our next island, the Marine Fortress. But before start grinding, go to this tower. Go buy the Black Coat. This increases your damage, your energy, and your defense. Okay, so the technique here with the Vice Admiral, I'm gonna show it to you again. Remember, lure without hitting because this mob has a long range attack. To so lure him into a wall, guys, I don't suggest using the X skill because it might destroy your formation while grinding, but it really depends to you guys, okay? Again, it really depends to you as long as you reach level 220, okay? Okay, so after that, we are now moving to our next island again. Remember, 220 stats, 172 melee and defense, blocks full 316. Next island is the prison. Guys, right? this will be fast because we have three bosses here, the Warden, Chief Warden, and the Swan. First, I'm going to show you how to defeat uh, the Warden and the Chief Warden. Just lure them into a wall and there you go. Z skill, guys. They cannot hit you with this. Even though the Chief Warden has a long sword. <laughs> okay, so defeat them. Again, avoid using X skill. Check that out, guys. You will go outside and they might hit you, okay? So at level 240, you can start defeating the Swan. Guys, here in the early stages of grinding, 
you cannot use our strategy because you will really die because of its uh, skill. So you're gonna use the SDS strat, okay? The skill dodge, there you go, and skill strat, okay? So at first, you need to be patient. That skill, guys, that's the one that will destroy you in this early stages of grinding here with this one. But if you get strong enough and tank that skill, there you go, you can defeat him easily. You're gonna grind here until you reach level 350. Again, guys, you can defeat all three bosses here. Just do server hop, stat check 266 million defense, blast fruits 518. For our next island, we're gonna go in the Magma Village and straight to the Magma Admiral. So what's the strat here, Game on? There's no wall here, so we're gonna do a skill, dodge, skill, strategy again. So again, use your skills. Okay, dodge to the side. Okay, after you use that skill, it's your time to use your skills. Again, be patient. We're just gonna do this quest until you reach level 425, okay? Okay, I hope that's clear. After that, we can now move on to our next island, the island underwater, the underwater city. Our target here is Fishman Lord, and again guys, he's easy to defeat. So first, we're gonna lure him and pick the window, any window guys, okay? And after that, you can defeat him. He won't be able to damage you here, as you can see. Close up camera please, there you go, he's trying to hit us, but there is no damage. Again, try to avoid using X skill, why? Because your formation will be destroyed. Check this out. So I need to go back and wait for him again. So again, just focus on using your Z skill. The goal here is to reach level 500. But guys, I tried reaching 450 here. And tried to grind the God's Guards. Oh, stat check first. Here's the stats. Okay, the God's Guards, they're located in the Skyland, right? Before we grind them, let's buy the Tomo Ring. So this increases your Blast Foot damage. I just want to focus on increasing that damage. So here we go, God's Guards. We're gonna grind here until 500, guys. I'm gonna show you, you just need to lure 4. I wanted to show you this because I want you to know that Spike Foot can also be used to grind not just single target enemies, okay? There you go. I think you need to like use your skills 3 times. So 6 skills to defeat this mobs. Again, at level 500, you can start defeating Whisper. So again, our SDS strategy. <laughs> Guys, I hope that this strategy gets popular even though everyone uses this, I know. Let's just name it SDS strategy. Okay, so the goal here is 620. Next stop, Thunder God. 620 until you reach level 675. Same strategy guys, SDS strategy. There you go. Skill, dodge, and skill. Good thing is the cooldown of Spike Fruit is really short. Okay, which make it really good for using this strategy. Okay, for those wondering guys, after this, we're gonna go to the Fountain City. We're gonna skip two quests, right? The Galley Pirates and the Galley Captains. We're gonna go straight with the Cyborg. And again, our favorite strategy, the Skill Dodge Skill. There we go. Skill, wait for it to use the skill. Use your skills. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, use your skills. So if you're gonna do this properly, the only factor is patience. You're gonna need to repeat this, repeat, repeat, repeat until you level up, right? Okay, aside from that guys, there are other players that might attack you. Like for example, this one, this Dragon Fruit user, he attacked me. Okay. And I was able to like defeat him. Check that out guys. Spike Fruit user defeating a Dragon Fruit user. Anyway, after that, an Awakened Buddha attacked me. Actually attacked Cyborg and attacked me. Well anyways, I reached level 700. So now, we are gonna go and focus on the prison quest. So again, you need to head to the prison. There you go. Talk to the military detective. Guys, save here to make things faster, okay? Use the key to open a door in the frozen village. Defeat Ice Admiral. Just uh, reset, don't worry. Prison quest won't reset. There you go. After that, you can now go to the middle town. Look for the experienced captain and then he will send you to the second scene. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. Gamer Nom, was it hard? Door fruit is harder. Diamond fruit is harder. What Gamer Nom, are you done with diamond fruit? Guys, I'm gonna post that video this week. So make sure to watch out for it, okay? So again guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom. Gamer Nom out!